Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how you can zip and unzip files from a folder automatically using VBA. Why would you want to do that? For three reasons, automating tasks, saving time, and finally reducing the number of errors that happen. Now, if you only have to do this a couple of times, then you might as well do it manually. But if this is a task that has to be repeated over and over again, it makes sense to automate the task. Let me take you through the code that we have. As you can see, there are two codes that have been given here. One is for zipping the files from within a folder. And the other is for the opposite, just to unzip and create a new folder. I will not take you through the entire code because it works and you don't really need to know in detail, line by line, how it works. But I will tell you the paths that you have to modify. The code is working in this part. This is where we are creating a shell app. We are creating an empty zip file. These characters simply represent how Excel or rather how Microsoft is going to read an empty zip file. Then we want to copy the files and the folders into the zip file. And then finally, we want to create a loop to pause the macro until the zipping has finished. This is important from an automation and uh, from a uh, optimization perspective. How do we run the code that is done via this subroutine, which is where we are calling the previous subroutine that we have written. And there are two arguments that we have to give here. One is the folder to zip path and the other is zip file full name. Basically, the first argument or the parameter is the folder that we want to zip. And the second is the name of the zipped file that we want to create. So if I come to my downloads folder, you will notice that there is a folder called original folder. And there are two files in it. One is an exe file. The other is an Excel file. And this is what we want to zip. So if you look at the path here, see users, Havish downloads original folder. That is what is coming here. And then this is essentially the new zip file that we are creating. So let me keep it side by side to show you how it works. So the moment we run the code, you will notice that a zipped folder has been created. And if I double click on it, you can see that the two files are there. Let's do it one more time. This time I want to change the name a little bit. So I'm going to call this my zipped folder. And we once again run this and you notice it has been created. Now let us see how we will unzip it. This is much simpler and the code is also much smaller in size. So first we're creating our shell object and it's very simple. All we are doing here is we are putting two arguments here. One is the zipped file full name and the other is the unzipped to path. So this is the first parameter which asks me to select the zipped file. And then this is the new folder that we're going to create. Now do keep in mind that the folder in which you will be unzipping the files has to be present. If it is not present, then you can either create it using BBA or you create it manually. For example, in this case, I'm going to manually create a new folder and I'm going to call this unzipped. That is the part that we are writing here. Obviously we have just created it. So it is completely blank. And here it is called my zipped folder. So that's the name of the zip file that we have. And the moment we run this, you will notice that 
in the unzipped folder that we have, the two files have been unzipped. Of course, you can modify the code. Uh, for most of you, the code should do the job. And what you might want to do here is to um, run this or rather call this subroutine multiple times in case you want to do this as a batch process. 